Oh, weep, grana, weep, nittybong, and welcome back to my channel. And today, Dr. Wu gets really lazy with its new deco. We check out how Dream Star Toys are getting on with their Superion. APC Toys are releasing some of my favorite figures of all time. And this bad boy, this awesome looking Metroplex, we check out where to find him. All this and much, much more coming up in the next few minutes. And now the news, don't touch that dial. Kicking off today then with Good Smile Company. And if you're anything like me, and I know I am, I've been playing the hell out of the Dead Space remake that's just come up on Game Pass. And just in time for that, Good Smile Company are going to be releasing everybody's favorite engineer right here. I think this is a cracking looking figure. I just wanted to give this a shout out because this game, this game's taking up a lot of my time at the moment. I've got a lot of love for that Dead Space remake. If you ain't playing the Dead Space remake yet, I strongly recommend you go and check that bad boy out because it's awesome. While mooching around in some of the Transformers Facebook groups, I also found this from Mike Reynolds from a Monday Night Raw in 1999. What a sign. Cyclonus is bombshell. Brilliant. Comedy class signs there for a classic Transformers memes. Awesome. Black Friday will be upon us very, very soon, and the team over at Robosen are having a sale. So if you want to pick up one of their super, super expensive bots, this might be one of the best times to do it, especially that Grimlock. Next, we move over to the world of Fun B Studios, who have been creating their own take on the Quintesson Executioner, the dude that feeds them to the Sharktacons. So, very, very cool. These are 3D printed, and they've been doing a whole range of these, as you can see here. And I think together they do look really good. Do they stand up next to the Hasbro ones? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it stands up well next to the Hasbro ones. There's just maybe something a little bit about how the Hasbro one is a little bit more blocky maybe it's the plastic that's used but when you put all of their figures together they all look really really super cool together kind of reminds me of the other there was a company not so long ago was it impossible toys or something it looks like something that's come straight out of impossible toys i think they've what they were called someone let me know down in the comments exactly what i'm thinking of here but all in all this is awesome i'm really glad that they've done an executioner and if you've got a 3d printer you can have an executioner too the best cell shader in the business has started his mega size optimus prime so he's going to be working on this one cell shading this bad boy up if you do not follow lek on youtube and also on facebook you are wrong and you must go and do so right now Go follow him. He's criminally undersubscribed and he's the best cell shader in the business. The team over at Marshmallow Square, otherwise known as Magic Square, are releasing some stands. Very nice. There's this lovely translucent purple one. If you've got a, a Megatron in his mid pose, I think New Age released one not so long ago. He'd look very nice on that stand. So you get a purple one, you get a red one, and you also get a black one as well. Brilliant. If you need a stand, go see Magic Square. Moving over to the world of APC Toys, they're going to be releasing the Viacons, and they're releasing two versions of this Viacon. I think one that turns just into the car, and then one that turns into the flying car. I don't think that these are triple changes. Um, I think this is two different types one that turns into the flying car one that turns into the normal car because i think that's how hasbro released them back in the day but i've only seen a few pictures so far so let me know in the comments if i'm wrong one thing i have noticed though and this is where it differs a little bit from the hasbro version is that heed right there so that heed that's on that that's very different to my version that i got from hasbro the heed on mine is looks very different to this one so cool nice that they've put something a little bit new on there i'll probably be picking these up anyway because yeah my favorite some of my favorite figures of all time i love the alt modes love the bot modes really really cool transformers prime outside of g1 the best transformers over on weibo we have seen a few more pictures of dr Wu inferno so dr Wu is releasing inferno very very soon and we see these pictures over on weibo the alt mode though from the side does look a little bit sketchy just remember though these are super super small and we see him next to toxitron 
The box that he's going to come in is just looks like he's going to be on his Billy Lonesome as well. A lot of time these things come in a duo pack, but this one you're going to be able to pick up on his Billy Lonesome, which is interesting. But they are also releasing a duo pack as well. So you're going to be able to pick up Inferno and you're also going to be able to pick up Grapple together. But in the most boring colorway ever. This is being sold as the Grey Mold Limited Edition version. This is just lazy, right? I guess this is supposed to harken back and show us all what it was like when they were creating these. And this would have been the kind of prototype phase. But for me, no. I, no. I did lazy lazy dr woo bad dr woo on your bed on your rug now we move on to the c yang culture yc001 and this thing looks incredible and if you're in the uk you're going to be able to pick this bad boy up from kapow toys now this scales at 17 centimeters tall has lots of flashy lights and looks really really cool now i am a little bit confused because there's a couple of names for this one at the moment i see this being called the yc001 vladivostok but then you can see that kapow are actually calling this one defense fortress so i don't know exactly what the name of this figure is but it does look absolutely cool and as i've already said it is 17 centimeters tall and has lots of cool flashy lights i don't know anything about yang si um i've never bought anything from this company i don't know if it's uh, another name for a different company but i do know that this thing looks incredible with all the flashy lights that you would hope i think it might come with these mini figures but i'm not sure and again it's not listed anywhere that it comes with these little mini figures but it's a really really cool looking metroplex and definitely like an upgraded version of the metroplex that we all had back in the 80s absolutely phenomenal really thinking about picking this bad boy up myself and if you're in the uk kapow is the place to go on this channel we have been talking a little bit about the crossover between transformers and blocks group and we've already looked at series one quite in depth and now they're getting ready to release series two now as far as i'm aware these things do not transform and then what they're going to get with this one is we're going to get a cliff jumper we're going to get a grimlock as well which looks like a really cool looking grimlock and then there's also a separate version of grimlock Grimlock as well where he's super intelligent but also comes with the blame we'll get the bot version of Grimlock so there's three versions of Grimlock that you're going to be able to pick up here Inferno looking a little bit more super deformed than some of the other figures same with Grapple as well this is what always makes me um, a little bit feel odd about these figures because when we look at the constructor cons here they don't necessarily look too super deformed but then other figures do look kind of super deformed so for me there's not really like a, a uniform look as we go through these which i think is a shame because starscream again here doesn't look necessarily super deformed and nor did nemesis prime and also something i didn't realize these are blind boxes so you do know not no no do do no do <laughs> you do not know what it is that you're going to get um, and i guess that the the super limited edition one from from what i can see will be that grimlock breathing fire that's like the the really limited edition one i'm probably one of the coolest ones out of all of them i think if i see some of these around um i might pick a couple up and 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 see what they're like but again they don't transform so they don't usually make it into my collection at all images have emerged on ebay of all places of a prototype death saurus so not even out yet but the prototype appears to be up on ebay right now and i think people can even bid on this bad boy so these images have come directly from ebay which is why again it looks a little bit like the dr woo so there's no color or anything on like this and i think that there's always some kind of like challenges as well with the prototypes right because they're samples so they're not always built to the same kind of quality we can see all the color differences and all this but it is 
interesting to know that something like this is already up on ebay and i'm sure some dubious dubious people will try and purchase this bad boy already but this is the boring version the good news is that we've also had some images of what the final version will look like and yeah it looks great don't forget this is also going to come with a throne because it reached i think all of its stretch goals in the end um looks like a very very nice looking figure um i've actually seen some people posting though that the star saber that came from haslab now is starting to the yellow on the chest is starting to fade and some of the the paintwork is crumbling away even though they haven't transformed it that often so hopefully this haslab because they are super super expensive figure will be of a maybe a slightly better build quality than we got from star saber this isn't something i'm going to add to my collection because again I'm, I'm currently trying to shrink my collection down not in size of volume, but in size of figures. And I'm really starting to focus in a lot on the new age figures. So it would have to be quite special for me to want to pick this up. Uh, and also, I always have a little bit of a challenge because they charge you the same price in the UK as they do in America for dollars and don't even think about conversion rates and exchange rates and things like that. And that just really irritates me. But let me know about this one down in the comments. Are you super, super happy about this? Have you put your money down for it? Are you waiting for it to come? In all honesty, I already thought this thing had been shipped. We can all now get super, super excited for the 14th of November, because on the 14th of November, we will get probably what will be the final Transformers transmission from Hasbro of the year. So I will definitely be looking forward to that one. More than likely, though, after this has happened, I probably will not cover this actually until the 17th, which would be the Friday, because next week I am super busy with work stuff. Typically, it all falls when there's something big happening in the Transformers community. And then also at the weekend, I'll be flying over to Dublin to do a little bit of partying with my family. So you may be a little quieter on this channel than usual, um, especially in the upcoming weeks, because I also will be over in Amsterdam the week after that doing my final work trip of the year and then after that i'll be one week and then i'll be over in the states so things may be a little quiet on this channel i'll try and keep up to update with everything in my shorts if possible where i am still playing transformers devastation i know i need to upload a lot more on this one but again right now everything is super super busy if you're new around here please think about giving me a like a share and a subscribe because it really does help the channel out and i'll see you in my next video, probably Tuesday. Peace!